Hello Scorpio, welcome to With Love Tarot. Today I'll be doing your full moon tarot reading for the month of September 2019. And I'm super excited because um, I am using the Spellcasters Tarot deck, um, which I just received and I'm going to be using it for um, all of my full moon readings. And it's just a really, it's a really cool deck and gives some additional messages for you guys. I love the full moon. It's one of my favorite time periods each month. Please give me the overall energy and messages for Scorpio during the full moon of September of 2019. Thank you all for watching. What are the messages for Scorpio during the full moon of September of 2019? What does Scorpio need to hear? What does Scorpio need to know during the full moon of September of 2019? Okay, here we go. Okay, lovely. Okay, bottom of the sword, bottom of the swords, bottom of the deck, we have six of swords. Um, some of you guys are moving away from a situation um, that maybe no longer served you. Um, this could also indicate travel of some sort for some of you out there. Now, um, for your past energies moving into your present, we have Nine of Pentacles. Now, in this deck, this is a really lovely card. This talks about happy home life, um, basically having it all, being surrounded with abundance. Um, even though she doesn't look the happiest um, she is, this, this card um, in this deck indicates that everything is where it should be. Moving into the present, we have Knight of Wands, well, which is a really beautiful energy here. Um, he is, I love how this knight is depicted on the eagle, okay? This is awesome, guys. What this says to me is that many of you, this could be you or somebody you're dealing with, but I have a feeling it's you, are, um, you are just like doing it. Um, you have, you're manifesting, you have all the tools you need, you're, um, you're a mover and shaker, um, charismatic, good looking. Um, and the eagle too is a really a symbol um, that whatever you're um, wanting and wishing for and trying to manifest, it's a symbol that you're going to get it. Awesome. Um, five of swords for more of your um, future energies some of you out there, um, this is kind of like an empty victory card, meaning that you are going to be victorious in something, but it's just a little bit of a, a message that um, you just want to be careful that you're not um, you're not hurting somebody is what popped into my head. Um, this could talk about arguments of some sort or um, you know fighting just to fight, if you will. Um, you know, somebody is victorious here, but really at the expense of somebody else and um, hurting somebody's feelings is what's popping into my mind. Uh, so just be careful. Uh, you know, words can cut and um, just, be, just be, be particularly careful during this time period. Now I'm going to um, clarify each card to see what other messages I can get. Please clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Wands and Five of Swords for my Scorpios. Please clarify Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Scorpio. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cool. Okay, 
So nine of cups, guys, clarifying nine of pentacles, beautiful energy here. Uh, this tells me that some of you, um, again, were just in a really uh, happy situation. Maybe you got a wish granted to you. This um, cups does have to do with emotions. So perhaps some of you um, entered into a new relationship or um, kind of just uh, got together with friends. Um, this is sometimes thought of as the wish card. Uh, the Fool clarifying Knight of Wands in your present energy, again, tells me that um, some of you really have the tools, um, the know-how, the ability, the energy um, to make things happen. Um, now, with the Fool, I, the Fool is also about um, new beginnings, and it, and it could talk about taking a leap of faith. So perhaps some of you, what's popping into my mind is some of you might have um, started a new business or got into a new opportunity. Um, you're, you know, you're taking a leap of faith to start up something is what's popping into my head. Um, it could just be feeling very optimistic about something, um, you know, or, or having a new start or new beginning in general, or even with a person. So interesting, guys, um, we have the Three of Swords clarifying the Five of Swords, which is exactly what I was feeling um, when I was talking about this card a few moments ago. Um, this is coming up in your future, so, um, and and don't, anybody don't panic. I know this is a crazy visual, <laughs> um, but this, this talks about um, heartache um, and with this message I was getting is hurting somebody's feelings. So perhaps some of you, you know, um, really, you know, um, are witty and can be sarcastic is what I'm getting and are very intelligent and, you know, really have the ability to cut with your words. Um, you know, be, just be a little bit careful. This could also talk about you breaking up with somebody, a vice versa. Energies can go either way here and take what resonates and throw out the rest. But um, this could talk about, you know, you know what just popped in my head was heartbreaker. I mean, perhaps some of you out there are really breaking hearts, guys. Um, so you know you could be cause you could be going through heartbreak as well due to uh, a breakup or an argument, or you could be doing the breaking up. I'm going to take uh, one more card to see what other messages we have and to seal the reading. Please give me one more card for Scorpio. What other messages do you have for Scorpio during the full moon of September of 2019? Please give me one more card. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. Um, so, kind of going on along, well, we have the three, four, and five of swords now. Interesting. The four of swords talks about um, taking a break from a situation. This could also indicate that some of you need to recharge your batteries. Um, maybe feeling a little bit run down and just want to break, want to rest. This is swords, um, so the messages I'm getting here is it's a break in communication. Perhaps some of you are not speaking to somebody, per, uh, maybe caused by this, you know, and are taking a break in a, a relationship or w with a platonic friend. Um, but, you know, this all talks about you really just, this guy has his shoe off, <laughs> He's got a candle in there, you know, I mean, he's just really, you know, he's in the snow, it doesn't matter, he's going to take a nap, so, um, you know, this just talks about recharging your batteries and getting rest in when you need it, and it could also, for some of you out there, um, be related to maybe you aren't talking to somebody as well. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful full moon. I will see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe with love. Bye.